Hi, my name is Anu Vijay Mohan, and I'm a technical architect on the customer success team here at MuleSoft. In this Friends of Max video, I'd like to discuss batch processing in MuleSoft AnyPoint platform. We will do an overview that will help you understand what batch processing is, some use cases to help you determine when you should use it, and some main features of batch processing in Mule 4. Let's get started. What is batch processing? Batch processing refers to the ability to split large messages into records that are then processed asynchronously as individual records. This generally happens in four steps. First, split large or stream messages into individual records. Then, perform prescribed actions upon each record while handling record level failures that may occur so that the batch job is not reported. Finally, report on the results of the job and any errors. What are some instances where batch processing might be relevant? Here we will go through some common use cases. Batch processing is particularly useful when working with the following scenarios. Integrating data sets to parallel process records or synchronizing data sets between business applications. For example, syncing contacts between NetSuite or SAP and Salesforce. This model allows you to achieve near real-time data integration. Another scenario is extracting, transforming, and loading information into a target system, what we call ETL. For example, uploading data from a flat file, like CSV, to Hadoop. Finally, another common scenario is handling large quantities of incoming data from an API into a legacy system. There are a number of characteristics that APIs and batch have that differentiate them from each other. These are important to understand when designing your applications. First off, availability. APIs are on demand and real time and based on user interaction. Batch is a scheduled copy of a data set and does not require direct user interaction. The profile of each also differ quite significantly. APIs have configurable fields and attributes that you can join, filter, and sort on, and are of much smaller controlled volume, for example, 10,000 records per request. Batches are by definition mostly static and are changing very infrequently. The volume is much larger, millions of records and gigabytes of data. The data change frequency is also important to note. APIs are used when data can change in real or near real time within minutes, while batch is designed to cater for data changes that are much slower, for example, daily, weekly, or monthly. Consumers of an API can be multiple and undefined at design time, whereas batch is usually tied to a particular destination or a set of destinations, and this will rarely change. Publication of APIs happens in an event-oriented manner, while batch is republished rarely once it is created. All of these factors play an important role in helping you decide the right design. Now let's talk about batch processing in Mule 4, specifically the batch job scope. The batch job scope provides con a construct for asynchronously processing larger than memory data sets that are split into individual records. Within an application, initiate a batch job scope, which will split messages into individual records perform actions upon each record, and then report the results, and, if desired, push the processed output to other systems and queues. Let's go into further detail of the four batch processing phases within the batch job scope. First, input allows connectivity and transformation. Two, load and dispatch splits up and batches records for processing. Three, process allows multi-step record processing. And four, on complete, allows for reporting on batch job stats. If we go a bit deeper into load and dispatch and processing, here we can see that the record queue is built in the load and dispatch phase. Each record is then processed by each step independently and asynchronously, while the record maintains its state at each step. Failed records will be skipped in subsequent step, and batch commit can be used as a step to bulk write to an external source. And lastly, Here's an example of what the batch job scope looks like in a flow in any point studio. Why bother using batch job scope? There are a number of benefits. First, data integrity. Batch job scope allows for the description of a reliable process that automatically splits up source data and stores it into persistent queues. Second, reliability. Batch job scope allows the processing of large data sets while providing reliability. In the event that the application is redeployed or mule crashes, the job execution is able to resume at the point in which it stopped. Third, efficiency. Asynchronous processing allows a better use of system resources. 
Thanks for tuning in. I've included links to our product documentation for everything we've talked about in the description below, as well as some additional resources about batch processing and meal. See you next time.